Hello babes and welcome back on my YouTube channel. My name is Monica if you're new here and I already know what you want to see. I want to compare two powders, glow powders from two controversial brands. Yes, you heard me. I just received from Kaya, a Swedish brand, new powder. This is setting powder, glow powder. And I have in here also Jaclyn Hill a glow powder do me. So if you watch my channel, you already know that I love this powder. I use every day and always I repeat when I was reviewing Kaya brand that I wish to have that kind of powder from Kaya because they are all about natural skin glow, natural look, you know, so I miss that product on them and ta -da, they make it. So I know I'm late because they was launching that like one month ago, I think, or something, but here we are today and we will try, we will review this two together. So this is how it came, powder. It have color, so it's not, it ha it's like, Honey Glow, same with, uh, ooh, look, this is so beautiful. Wow, it's like hard plastic, but look like a glass. Uh, wow, this is gorgeous. Look on Kaya product. And behind we have also information what we have. So this is Honey Glow Loose Setting Powder. And look, amazing. Okay, and then let me clean. Uh, Jacqueline, because she's so dirty on that point. Still, she's dirty, but also I think same glass. It's on Kaya as on uh, Jacqueline, and this how look uh, Jacqueline powder. Have logo Jacqueline in here, not on the front like on Kaya, and then we have also information on the stick. Let me see how big they are. Same, so 10, 10 gram you have from um, Jacqueline and 10 gram you have from uh, Kaya, made on Italy, made made in US, okay? So one side, this side, uh, I will go with uh, Jacqueline and uh, this side we will go with Kaya. It's my first time when I tried that powder, I didn't saw like review on that one. Uh, so I don't know what other people say, but already I love my mm, my Jacqueline. You see, this is the color of Jacqueline powder. And let's open Kaya. Next. Okay, good for people who have nails. We remove stick. I see much more glow directly from Kaya powder. doesn't come too much but we will swatch them too oh yes much more glow we have from Kaya I will swatch in here yeah it, it feels like almost highlighter as you can see and let's take um, yeah so Jacqueline directly I can see Jacqueline it's still matte Okay, when I swatch, they are almost same. So this is Jacqueline, it's also very pearl. And uh, Kaya, it's more yellow uh, color, but both of them, they feel like they have same texture, but they look a little bit different. Uh, powder from Jacqueline look more matte um, before I swatch, and from Kaya directly, I can see like a glow. Uh, so we will see how this will look on face. So I take my brush, I always apply with that kind of brush, small pointy. Uh, so this side, as I say, we go with Jacqueline. And guys, I always do that after I finish my makeup. So I already did base, I set a little bit with the matte powder and then I go all over on bronzer before I apply highlighter, of course. So you can see, I always left maximum access on place where I want a maximum glow so it's in here and I love with uh, Jacqueline powder that uh, give me also some coverage you know so I really really enjoy so as you can see and then I apply in here so I go in my entire face uh, 
with that powder because smooth my pore like I really it's my favorite powder guys uh, so. so as you can see it has very delicate glow and so I really love it because it doesn't give me like a la highlighter situation so I hope Kaya make that too uh, even on the swatch I think Kaya have more glow uh, so we will check that uh, and they don't have lighter shades so honey from glow is the lightest shade so I wish they had one step lighter uh, but they don't have they have just mattes uh, so okay I remove access from the brush but I will use exactly same brush and now we go to Kaya I couldn't pick up too much but we will see I will take what I have okay so ready I'm more exciting on Kaya powder because uh, Jacqueline I already use one year, I think, almost. Okay, let's see. I think also smooth, nice my skin, but uh, let's take more, guys. I need more. It doesn't come too much from... From this, I think holes, they are too small, uh, but maybe it's, maybe it's purpose for that, so let's go again. Yes, I think Kaya is more like a highlighter, um, but once again, it depends which skin tone do you have i'm very pale right now so for me it will look better lighter shade than this one uh, but even that i'm not really mad on it have very natural glow but i see more sparkles if if you know what i mean on on the kaya side i see more kind of sparkles like a highlighter than on jacqueline on jacqueline is more like a wet look um but i like them both to be honest but they are different of course they cannot be same it's two different brands okay so i already have opinion on these two powders thank you for being with me uh, I tried them out and I have to say, uh, of course, I like them both because they still give me like glowy finish, but it's so big different between them. Uh, Jacqueline have a little bit like matte to it, so, um, and maybe a little bit more pigmentation than glow, so give me this kind of natural finish skin without highlighting. Uh, Kaya, um, I'm afraid to put on tie of my face because give me a little bit more sparkles, still have some coverage so smooth my skin as well but it's different because have a little bit more sparkles you cannot see them too much but I think it's because of shade this honey glow it is not exactly my shade I should have lighter uh, but you can see by self all my face it's very nice natural glowy without highlighter uh, I tell you why you should have that powder because if you are not girl who want to be highlighting all the time and this powder is best resolution if you are a little bit over age if you will apply that powder in your entire face you will look younger your skin will look more healthy so this is what i just want to say that's why it was so important for me to buy kaya powder if i will use it of course every day uh, so I, I will update to you on my um instagram uh, more but uh, so far I really like it I don't see any kind of issue with that uh, still uh, Jacqueline is my number one uh, powder uh, forever but I totally like Kaya also like you don't need highlighter but still you you set your makeup so wow I'm so 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 happy so yes I do recommend if you uh, search for some nice powder uh, i do recommend i really like it what do you think let me know in comment section if you was using some kaya products before i really want to know so this is the difference between both of them if you can see some different because i like i don't see honestly this side it's more kind of 
goldish a little bit or I left prices so Kaya cost 295 crowns uh, and they have translucent matte powder they have honey matte and they have honey glow which I have chocolate matte and chocolate glow and they have so many different deals so we can buy this with foundation with the brush so it's all by self it's up to you uh, so I really like price I don't think it's over hype um, it's very nice I regret now I didn't buy translucent matte I really want to see um, color on it and uh, how will smooth my skin and set and that kind of jazz but maybe in some other review and Jacqueline uh, she don't have it anymore or at least I cannot find it maybe on Morphe I don't know I will not search right now for you I know she had do me when she launched her uh, new brand again but I cannot find it right now so I don't know sorry but it's uh, sorry I can't update to you okay babe so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy uh, and uh, please show me some love if you did it will help to my channel and if you can subscribe i would really appreciate if you join to my family uh, so love you guys Mwah. take care bye bye